Hello everyone. Am I live? Can you see me? Can you hear me? Give me a minute to confirm if I'm clearly visible, audible. I'll start the class ahead. Okay. I hope it is working. Give me a thumbs up in the chat box. Yes, it is working. So I welcome you all for this session. A very, very good morning to all of you. I am Dr. Priyanka Sachdev here. And today I have started a new series on huge demand of the students. Many students demanded me to launch a series on CNS pharmacology because they find this topic very very difficult. So in this series I am going to cover entire CNS pharmacology in which I will cover all the lectures of central nervous system and peripheral nervous system of the pharmacology. I have already completed alcohols in the last lectures. Last lectures you can watch the free recordings if you have missed it. So alcohols are completed from my side. So now I am starting sedatives and hypnotics. So this is time to start sedatives, hypnotics, barbiturates and benzodiazepines now. So I am starting sedatives and hypnotics right now. After that, tomorrow I will cover anti-Parkinson's drugs. Don't dare to miss it. Anti-Parkinson's drug, very, very, very important for, from exam point of view and anti-epileptic drugs. Both chapters are very, very important. After that, a day after tomorrow, I will cover anti-psychotic drugs, anti-depressants, anti-anxiety, anti-manic drugs. And after that, I'm going to cover skeletal muscle relaxants. I'm going to cover local anesthesia. So in this manner, in this week, I am going to cover all central nervous system chapters and peripheral nervous system chapters. Everyone give me a thumbs up if you like my pattern of teaching and if you like this plan. And if you want any modification in, the, in this plan, please, you are free to tell me. Anyways, so without any delay, we have completed our course. Let me start sedatives and hypnotics. So CNS, sedatives and hypnotics. Now, these are the important questions which are usually asked in the university exams from sedatives and hypnotics. Currently, let me teach you the difference between sedative and hypnotic. What is a sedative? What is a hypnotic? So, sedative, uh, hypnotic, hypnotic is the drug which produces sleep in the patient. Hypnotic, the word hypnos, the meaning hota hai? sleep. In Greek language, it is used for treatment of insomnia. If the person is having difficulty in sleeping, if the person faces some difficulty in sleeping, we give hypnotics to that because it, these are the drugs which produces sleep in the brain. These are used on the treatment of insomnia. But hypnotics are these drugs. Sedatives are not these drugs. Sedatives are the drugs which makes the patient quiet, which, which makes the which make the patient thoughtless, which make the patient quiet, and which makes him drowsy without inducing sleep. These drugs don't induce sleep. Patient goes in sleep automatically. If your mind is quiet, you automatically go in sleep. If your mind becomes thoughtless, you don't think anything. Your mind become empty, you automatically go in sleep, right? So these are the drugs which are not producing sleep. These are quietening the patient, the mind of the patient, so that he automatically goes in sleep, he feels drowsy, right? They calms down the patient, right? They reduce tension and anxiety in the patient. So these are sedatives. Give me a thumbs up if you got the basic difference between them, sedatives and hypnotics. That is our chapter. So before starting the chapter, you should understand the sleep cycle. I will teach you all sedatives. I will teach you all hypnotics, the classification, mechanism of action, uses, adverse effects, everything today. But first, let me teach you sleep cycle. So sleep is a cyclic process. Do you know that we all sleep daily at least for eight hours? The minimum good quality sleep is eight hour continuous, six to eight hour continuous sleep. So have you heard? My mother always say that sleep continuously for six to eight hours. Don't sleep in installments, two hours, two hours, one hour. Don't do that. Take a continuous relaxing sleep for eight hours in the night time. So that is a cyclic process, right? So in the sleep, if you take EEG while sleep, EEG is electro uh, encephalograph, right? So you are taking EEG, you are recording the waves in the brain which are produced during, during the sleep. There are various types of brain, alpha, alpha waves, beta waves, theta waves and delta waves. So these are the high and low amplitude waves which are having various frequencies. So don't learn the frequencies, but yeah, there are four types of waves along with K complexes. K complexes are there, okay? Uh, okay, give me a minute. So you see the cycle. Can you see the cycle? So this is the sleep cycle. Now let me understand. Let me help you in understanding the sleep cycle. After that, I will start the chapter. So in the sleep, we are having five stages. Stage 0, stage 1, stage 2, stage 3 and stage 4. So total we are having five stages in sleep, right? Usual people, I am not talking about you people. So I am talking about usual people who sleep at 11 o'clock in the night. So usual people sleep 11 o'clock, 11 means 23, right? 23 uh, p.m. that is 11 o'clock in the night, we should go to sleep. So whenever we sleep, first, 
first stage our mind gradually goes in state zero gradually for few hours for few half an hour we are in state zero right then gradually our mind goes in stage one can you see we are that is sleep is becoming deep sleep is so whenever we are just closing our eyes but we are not sleeping yet we are just closing our eyes we are in state zero right gradually the sleep is just coming we are in transient stage so it is stage one gradually we go in stage two stage two we go in stage two then we go in stage three and we go in deepest stage stage four so finally we go in stage four right so this is these are the uh, steps in the non ram there are two type of cycles non ram and ram so this is your non ram non ram mein, these are the five stages n r e m non ram cycle these are the five stages so this is the cycle the fifth the fifth stage the last stage of the non ram non ram then gradually you come back from stage 4 you come to 3 you come to 2 you come to 1 right and then can you see this one this what is this this is your ram sleep this is your ram then one cycle of non ram is completed now one cycle of ram then again you will go in non ram then again you will go in deep non ram and come back from the non ram and then again you will go in ram you will go in ram you will go in ram then again you will go in non ram you will go in ram you will go in non ram you will go in ram you will go in non ram you will so can you see the cycles in the first cycle it is going till stage 4 in the next cycle it is going at the junction of 3 and 4 in the next it is going to 3 in the next it is going to 2 in the next it is going to 1 and see the timings see the timing you are sleeping at 11 o'clock so in one hour non ram is completed till 12 from 12 to 1 you have ram then again from 1 to 2 you have non ram then again you have RAM, then you have non-RAM, then you have, so usually 40-40 minutes ki cycle hoti hai, 40-40 minutes mein you complete non-RAM, RAM, non, so there is alternate non-RAM and RAM, what we have learned from this pattern, we have two type of cycle, non-RAM, RAM, we have alternate non-RAM and RAM, in non-RAM there are four stages, stage 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, total 5 stages are there, and alternately we complete them, right, so morning 11 o'clock to morning, uh, night 11 o'clock to morning 6 a.m., 6 a.m. in the morning usual people get up, so this is the complete sleep. So in one sleep, how many cycles of non-RAM and RAM you are doing? You are doing one, two, three, four. Usually four to five cycles are completed. Each cycle complete com contain one contain one non-RAM and one RAM. Give me a thumbs up if you got the basics. Give me a thumbs up. So this is the summary. These are the basic. And in them, there is alpha, beta, delta, theta, and k complexes are there. Everyone give me a thumbs up. Am I visible, audible? So what is your sleep cycle? If you know the basic sleep cycle, now it is easy for you to understand the effect of drugs, the various drugs which I am going to teach you today on the sleep cycle. In the sleep cycle, we have two types of sleep, non-RAM and RAM. And non-RAM and RAM are alternate. So first we start with non-RAM always. Then we go in RAM. Then we come in non-RAM. Then we go in RAM. Then we go in non-RAM. Then we go in RAM. So in non-RAM, there are state 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Stage 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. RAM do not have any further stages. 1, 2, 3, 4. Like this, we have various stages. So, in non-RAM, RAM, there is alternate and these are the various stages. And in one total 8 hour sleep, we complete 4 to 5 cycles. Each cycle contains nearly 40 to 45 minutes. Everyone give me a thumbs up if you got this. So, this is the basic. Let me start the chapter. I am not going in much detail. Let me start the chapter. The chapter is sedatives and hypnotics. Let me start sedatives and hypnotics. Everyone give me a thumbs up. In sedatives and hypnotics, I am going to teach you three categories of the, the broad three categories of the drug. Today, I am going to teach you all barbiturates first. I will start with barbiturates. There are three types of bar barbiturates, long acting, short acting and ultra short acting. I will tell you the classification once I start the barbiturates. Then I will teach you benzodiazepines. Benzodiazepines are also of three types, but the classification, the way we classify is different. Some of the benzodiazepines are used as hypnotic for sleeping purpose. Some of the benzodiazepines are used as anti-anxiety. This is not for sleeping, just to calm down. Sometimes we feel very anxiety now. You know what is anxiety? From inside we have tachycardia, we are very thoughtful, we got tense, the tension, that is anxiety. So these are just calming down, not causing sleep. These are anti-anxiety. And some of the benzodiazepines are used for seizures, for epilepsy. These are known as anticonvulsants. So depending on their mechanism of action or various action, not mechanism of action, various uses, these are of three types. Barbiturates ka classification is depending on their duration of action. Some of them are long acting, some of them are short, some of them are ultra short. So the way we classify them is different. And some of them, the third category is non-benzodiazepines. These are also hypnotics and sedatives. So all Zolpi, so Zolpi clone, Zolpi dam and Zol Zoleplo. 
so three zol zopi zopi are there zopi and zolpi so this category i am also others i am not going to teach you others i am not going to teach you so i am going to teach you three broad categories of the drug here i will start with barbiturates then i will come on benzodiazepines and then i will come on newer these are the newer drugs newer drugs non benzodiazepines everyone give me a thumbs up shall i start shall i start my chapter this is the complete classification let me start with barbiturates so let me start with barbiturates give me a thumbs up pratyaksha lavanya tej can you see me hear me everyone those who are live give me a thumbs up i am starting with barbiturates so these are the headings under which i am going to teach you all chapters of pharmacology not only this chapter in the introduction i will tell you the definitions important points about the barbiturates then i will teach you complete classification of barbiturate the most important is mechanism of action of barbiturate how barbiturate causes sleep how barbiturate causes sleep so i will teach you teach you the mechanism of action in brain what are the receptors at which it is acting then the pharmacological action on other organs also apart from brain interactions now i am going to teach you two main chapters now what are the two main chapters the first chapter is barbiturate and second chapter is benzodiazepine uske baad newer bhi padhaungi small things about the newer but benzodiazepines are superior and barbiturates are inferior nowadays we don't prefer barbiturates we prefer benzodiazepines so tell me the reasons tell me 10 reasons why benzodiazepines are superior than barbiturates So I will tell you the reasons why benzodiazepines are superior as compared to barbiturates. I will tell you reasons. Then I will tell you the uses for what 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 diseases in which we use barbiturates. I will tell you the adverse effects and I will tell you the poisoning, which is very common. It is used for suicidal purpose. Many people use sleeping pills for suicide. These are the sleeping pills. Now the best sleeping pills available in the market. So the mentality is that the layman think if I take one tablet. i get sleep i get sleep if i get if i take 100 tablets i will get death so that is the mentality for the person that's why it is used for sleeping pill so if poisoning is occurring and relatives are bringing the patient to you what treatment you will offer what are the symptoms and treatment you will offer so these are the headings under which i am going to teach you barbiturates also benzodiazepines also so i request you to make two columns here one for barbiturates first let me finish barbiturates under these headings and then i will teach you benzodiazepines under the same heading give me a big 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 thumbs up should i start let me start with the first chapter barbiturates barbiturates right uh, barbiturates are known as barbiturates because these are constituted these are the substituted derivatives of barbituric acid what is barbituric acid it is malonyl urea it is barbituric acid so these are the substituents of barbituric acids that's why known as barbiturates that is the chemical formula so in the introduction nothing important is there classification these are of three types long acting short acting ultra short acting based on their duration of action we will read the name of the drugs under these long acting is only one phenobarbital phenobarbital very very acting short acting are two butobarbital and pantobarbital and ultra short is theopantone it is used as a anesthesia right and methotrexidone these are used as anesthesia these are used as for anesthesia these are not used for sedatives these are used for anesthesia basically so basically long acting is phenobarbital and short act short act. so barbiton is the suffix it is phenobarbital butobarbital and pantobarbital so three barbitons are there apart from it anesthesia ki bhi drugs hain right should i start should i move ahead okay let me go ahead mechanism of action the most important and difficult thing to understand here is the mechanism of action right okay in the brain we have two types of receptors gaba gaba we have two type of neuro um, uh, chemicals uh, in the brain the two type of uh, neuro chemicals in the brain are gaba and glutamate gaba these are the neurotransmitters gaba is a inhibitory neurotransmitter and glutamate is the excitatory neurotransmitter give me a thumbs up everyone give me a thumbs up everyone give me a thumbs up one is inhibitory neurotransmitter one is excitatory neurotransmitter so if you got this this is the basic now what you want you want to give barbiturate to the patient what are barbiturates barbiturates are sleeping pills barbiturates these are the sleeping pills these are hypnotics these are sedatives they will cause they will induce sleep in the patient so among the two chemicals which you want to increase and which you want to decrease by giving barbiturate common sense barbiturate dekh ke tum kya karoge you want to increase gaba or decrease gaba you want to increase glutamate or decrease glutamate i am asking to you lavanya sovajya uh, girchetya rapulo tej pratyaksha anyone else who is watching me i can't see the names of all persons anyone can tell me 
what is my question you got it what is barbiturate will do barbiturate will increase gaba or decrease gaba barbiturate will increase glutamate or decrease glutamate what does they do they want to barbiturates want to cause the sedation in the brain they want to cause the sedation in the brain sedation karane ke liye you want to increase inhibitory or excitatory you want to increase any which you want to increase or decrease so most of the persons have answered okay you all are right you want to increase the inhibitory neurotransmitter you want to inhibit increase the inhibitory and you want to decrease the excitatory yes yes now keeping this in mind i will take the mechanism of action further so barbiturate will have multiple mechanism of action the two most important number one it will cause increase it will act as a agonist for gaba so it will increase gaba and it will decrease the glutamate right it is a excitatory and inhibitory then two types of neurotransmitters okay before coming the action of barbiturates before teaching the action of barbiturates let me teach you what does normally occurs in the brain in the brain how does normally gaba action takes place let me teach you that normally normally we have two neurotransmitters as i have told you gaba is an inhibitory neurotransmitter gaba is synthesized in the brain by an enzyme gael glutamic acid decarboxylase from which gaba is coming out can you see this is a neuron this is a neuron in the brain inside the neuron in the brain this is gaba got synthesized can you see this is gaba Gl glutamate got converted to gaba with the help of this enzyme glutamate acid decarboxylase this enzyme converts uh, glutamate to gaba so gaba is coming out in the space here this is the gaba and these are the receptors of the gaba in the brain can you see okay this is the brain on the brain these are the receptors of the gaba these are the receptors so gaba will act on these receptors and it is an inhibitory neurotransmitter give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs up so gaba receptors are present gaba receptors are present the various types of gaba receptors are present so see see this cell on this cell the various types of gaba receptors are present two alpha receptors two beta and one um alpha beta and one gamma so two alpha receptors are there two beta i will explain you don't worry so these are the two alpha one alpha two alpha two beta one beta two beta and one gamma so five receptors are present for the gaba so this is gaba it is coming here it is coming here so these are the five receptors of the gaba present on the cell everyone on the cell membrane on the cell everyone give me a thumbs up so these are the things these are the things you can understand so gaba is coming out it is acting on its receptor once it acts on the receptor can you see in the center chloride channel is there these are the five gaba receptors two alpha two beta and one gamma total five receptors are there surrounding the five receptors in the center can you see a chloride channel can you see a chloride channel when gaba is coming and binding with all its receptor alpha beta and gamma so it increases it 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 um, opens the chloride channel once the chloride channel got opens it increases the flow of chloride so chloride will go inside more and more chloride will go inside more and more chloride will go inside it causes hyperpolarization of the neuron it is causing inhibition that's why gaba is a inhibitory neuron so this neuron got inhibited this is how neuron got inhibited give me a thumbs up this is the basic you should know so what is happening actually see the gaba is coming out in the space it is synthesized it is coming out in the space after coming out it is going to the neuron on the neuron there are five receptors of gaba one alpha two alpha one beta two beta and one gamma total five receptors so the gaba will act on its receptor because of this action because of this action there is a chloride channel it will open up it will open up because the chloride channel will open more and more chloride will go inside because the chloride will go inside it will cause hyperpolarization of the neuron that will cause inhibition of the neuron give me a thumbs up if you got it if you got this basic this is normal if you got this basic let me teach you the mechanism of action of barbiturates now you will get it there are three mechanisms i will teach you all three let me come on the first mechanism the first mechanism is known as gaba facilitatory action let me teach you what the barbiturates are doing okay barbiturate is a drug you are giving a barbiturate to a patient imagine you are giving just suppose i am a patient i am having difficulty in sleep i am coming to you doctor i can't sleep the whole night i am just awake and awake and awake and my mind cannot calm down and i cannot sleep so i just see the clock it is 1 o'clock 2 o'clock 3 o'clock 4 o'clock 5 o'clock oh my god it's morning 6 o'clock till now i am not sleeping so the complete sleepless nights are there give me some tablets so that i can get relaxed i can sleep so you had given barbiturates to me so in the night the next night before going to the bed at 10 o'clock i have taken the barbiturate tablet so barbiturate is going inside me it got absorbed it is going in the blood via blood it is going to the brain in the neurons in the neurons it is going to the gaba receptor it is going to the gaba receptors 
after going on the GABA receptors, it is increasing the affinity of the GABA receptor for GABA. Have you got it? What do you mean by the term affinity? Have you got it? Okay, let me show you. This is barbiturate tablet, which I have taken in mouth. I have taken a tablet of barbiturate. This is that tablet. So this tablet is going in my blood. From the blood, it is going in my brain. In the brain, it is going to my neuron. This is the tablet. This tablet is going on the neuron, acting on alpha, one alpha and one beta out of the five. By acting on one alpha and one beta, alpha beta ka junction, acting on that, it increases the affinity of natural GABA. This is natural GABA present in the body. Normally, natural GABA coming in the body and binding. Just a second. Uh, binding here. So, natural GABA coming, binding here. So, it opens the chloride channel just for a second. It is for one millisecond. One millisecond ke liye open ho hai. But now, barbiturate you are giving. So, it is increasing the affinity of natural GABA. So, now the same natural GABA will come bind with the neuron. Instead of one, it will open for 10 milliseconds. So, chloride channel will open more for more frequency for more time. More and more chloride will go inside. More and more chloride will cause more and more inhibition. So, inhibition is increased. So, inhibition is increased. So, person will get sleep. Person will get sleep because of more inhibition. Give me a thumbs up. So, basically, natural GABA ka affinity badha raha hai. That's why known as GABA facilitate reaction. GABA, jo natural GABA hai, usi ko aur facilitate kar raha hai. So, barbiturate is actually increasing the affinity of natural GABA. It is not doing its action. Jo GABA kar raha hai, usko hi bodo hai, to achcha kar raha hai, to or. You are doing a good job. You are doing inhibition. You are opening the chloride channel for one millisecond. Okay, I will help you to open the same chloride channel instead of one second. I will help you for opening it 10 seconds. So, the same job is exaggerated. So, the natural GABA, what it is doing, the same job of the natural GABA got exaggerated if you give the barbiturate. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. I try to get it simplified. If you read directly KDT, everything will be bouncer for you. But now you will get it. So, if you give a tablet of barbiturate, it will go on the GABA receptor. It will increase the affinity of natural GABA for the GABA receptor. So, it increases the lifetime of chloride channel opening. Instead of, for example, 1 millisecond, it is opening for 10 milliseconds. It is not the exact time. Just for example, I am telling you. It is increasing the lifetime for chloride channel. Right? It increases the more chloride. Flow of more chloride, more more chloride, more hyperpolarization, more hyperpolarization, more inhibition, more inhibition means it will induce sleep. Everyone, give me a thumbs up. Have you got it? Pratyaksha, Lavanya, Sovjanya. Have you got it? Everyone, give me a thumbs up. Should I proceed? That is the first action. That is GABA facilitatory action because it is facilitating means helping GABA, helping the natural GABA to its job, to to do its job more. Right? GABA pehle chloride channel ko khol raha tha ek second ke liye, ek millisecond ke liye. Ab barbiturate GABA ko bolega to ek ke liye nahi, mein tujhe help karunga to ek ki jaga paanch ya dus ke liye bolega. So more chloride will come, more hyperpolarization, more inhibition, so that will cause sleep. So natural wala hi ye ho raha hai. Action is exaggerated. The second thing is GABA mimicking action, not facilitating, it is mimicking. So at high concentration if you give the barbiturate, the same barbiturate. At high uh, concentration, it will directly go to the GABA receptor and it, it itself will open the chloride. Barbiturate is not asking GABA to open the chloride channel. Barbiturate itself is opening the chloride. GABA ko bolega, aray, se nahi ho ra, tu hat, main khulta. So the barbiturate, this is the barbiturate tablet now. So this barbiturate is doing two jobs. First, it is asking the GABA to do its job more exaggeratedly, helping the GABA to do its job more exaggeratedly. That is GABA facilitatory action. Second, it is itself directly opening the chloride channel. Directly opening the chloride channel, that is GABA mimicking action. It is mimicking, mimicking the GABA for its action. This is GABA mimicry action. It is not facilitating GABA to do, to do its job. It is mimicking GABA. It is saying, okay, instead of you, now I will open the channel. So, it is increasing the flow. No, it is increasing the flow. of Again, more chloride will go. More hyperpolarization, more inhibition, more sleep. Give me a thumbs up. So, what are the two actions? GABA facilitatory, GABA mimicry. Have you got the two actions of the barbiturate? GABA facilitatory action and GABA mimicry action. Everyone give me a thumbs up. In GABA facilitatory action, the barbiturate will increase the affinity of natural GABA to increase the chloride channel opening. In GABA mimicry action, barbiturate itself it itself, himself, will open the chloride channel. It will not ask GABA to open the chloride channel. Everyone gets, so ultimately more and more and more chloride by both action. More chloride means more hyperpolarization. More hyperpolarization means more sleep. 
So ultimately, it is causing inhibition. It is causing sleep. Everyone, give me a thumbs up. Everyone, Ruchi, you got it. Very good. Very good. So that now let me come on the third and the last action. There are three action now. The third action is not about GABA. It is about glutamate. As I have told you, there are two neurotransmitters. What happened? Just a second. What is happening? Okay. Let me see. Is it clear to you? Am I still live? Let me confirm. Am I still live? I guess I am. Okay. So, listen, there are two neurotransmitters. The first is excitatory neurotransmitter. That is GABA. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The first is the, the, okay. The first is inhibitory neurotransmitter. Inhibitory neurotransmitter. Inhibitory neurotransmitter is GABA. It is GABA. As I have told you, already told you. GABA. The second neurotransmitter is excitatory neurotransmitter excitatory neurotransmitter the name of excitatory neurotransmitter is glutamate glutamate now you are giving barbiturates 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 are the drug which induces sleep if you want to induce sleep in a person you have to increase inhibition you have to increase gaba and you have to reduce excitation you have to reduce glutamate right the first two actions of the barbiturate are about to increase gaba about to increase the action of the gaba one is gaba facilitatory action one is GABA mimic reaction. In both of them, the GABA is more. There is more GABA, so more chloride, more hyperpolarization, more inhibition. But the third action of the barbiturate is inhibition of glutamate. It is inhibition of the excitatory neurotransmitter. So this is the third action in front of you. Barbiturate inhibit glutamate induced depolarization. It is inhibiting glutamate by acting on AMP receptor. AMP receptors are the receptors of glutamate. So barbiturate is inhib inhibiting AMP receptor. It is inhibiting glutamate. It is inhibiting excitation. So again, inducing sleep. Give me a thumbs up. So ultimately, the summary is that barbiturates, barbiturates are sedatives. These are sedatives and hypnotics. They show mechanism of action by three actions. These are the three actions. The first is GABA facilitatory action the second is gaba inhibitory action and third is glutamate glutamate uh, glutamate inhibition inhibition right no sorry inhibitory nahi mimicry yes mimicry action give me a thumbs up so what are the three actions who will summarize gaba facilitatory action in which barbiturate go to the gaba receptor after going to the gaba receptor it helps GABA. It increases the affinity of the GABA for the same receptor, the natural GABA, so that it increases the chloride channel for more time. Instead of one second, it is opening for 10 milliseconds. So, more chloride, more hyperpolarization, more inhibition, more sleep. The second action is GABA mimicking action, in which the barbiturate again going to the GABA receptor. But after going to the GABA receptor, it is not increasing the affinity of natural GABA. It itself, it itself is opening the chloride channel. Instead of asking GABA for help, Saying that I will open it. So it is itself increasing the chloride channel for more time. More chloride channel, more chloride, more hyperpolarization, more inhibition. The third, it is going to AMPA receptor. It is inhibiting to AMPA receptor. So it is inhibiting glutamate. So excitation is reduced. So here inhibition is increased. <coughs> inhibition is increased and excitation is reduced. Ultimately, it is leading as a sedative. It is working as a sedative. Everyone give me a thumbs up. This is the best and the simplest explanation in the world. I can give you the mechanism of action of barbiturates. Okay. Coming on the next heading. If you got it, coming on the next heading. What are the actions on CNS? Who will give the summary of the action of CNS? As I have told you in brain, barbiturate is causing depression in the brain by three mechanisms. GABA facilitatory action, GABA mimicry action and glutamate inhibition action. The three actions. So it is inhibiting all areas of the brain but inside the brain, most sensitive area for barbiturate is RAS, reticular activating system, RAS. RAS is very sensitive. So it got depressed very much. All the brain is depressed, but, but RAS sabse zyada depressed. Hoga. So if you give the barbiturate in small dose, it will cause sedation. It will, if you give the barbiturate in high dose, instead of sedation, it will cause sleep. If you give in more high dose, it is causing anesthesia. Right? If you give in more high dose, it will cause coma and death. So these are dangerous drugs. You ask the patient to take one tablet. Instead of one tablet, is patient is taking two tablet, three tablet, or four tablet. You can see the person can die gradually. Everyone. That's why these are not safe drugs. You, these are not. Whenever the person is depressed, he can commit suicide using barbiturates. Barbiturates are the most common drugs used for suicidal purpose in the market. 
so these are not given on medical store over the counter without prescription if any doctor is giving prescription for a barbiturate with a seal with a registration number then only medical person medical medical store person um, uh, will give that drug to the patient otherwise verbally if you say give me a tablet of benzodiazepine the medical store person will not give it these are the instructions given to that because person can use that for the suicidal purpose give me a thumbs up so that is the thing these are not safe drugs right they cause three things in the brain okay they increase the sleep latency uh sorry they decrease the sleep latency what do you mean by sleep latency so i usually go to the bed at 11 o'clock every night i usually and within 10 minutes i go to sleep i'm very tired till night and till night i got very very tired and i feel sleepy after having my dinner after having a walk I go to the bed and I just got to sleep at 11, 10 or 11, 15. So my latency time, usually normal person's latency time is 15 minutes to 30 minutes. 15 minutes to 30 minutes, the person after going in bed, the person fall asleep. The person is sleeping. The person is falling asleep. So this time is known as latency time. Kitni der baad, aapko bed pe jane ke baad, kitni der baad neend hai. That time is known as latency time. So everyone wants this time should be less. So as soon as you go to bed, you just close your eyes and you fall asleep. So that is the best thing you can have in the world, right? So the barbiturates are the tablet which reduces your latency time, which reduces the patient's latency time, time to take and to fall asleep. It is shorter. So it is good thing. It is increasing the duration of the sleep, right? So normally the person is sleeping for four hours, three hours, two hours. If he takes a tablet of barbiturate, he can sleep for eight hours, nine hours, ten hours, right? So duration of the sleep is increased, right? And sleep architecture may... Sleep architecture is also disturbed, right? In the sleep architecture, RAM is decreased. RAM or stage 3, 4 of the um, non-RAM is decreased. And rest of them will increase. So we have a cyclic structure now. It starts from non-RAM, then RAM. Then non-RAM, then RAM. I have told you initially also, it is cyclic. It is alternate. Every night it is alternate. In the non-RAM, it is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. There are no stages in RAM, as I have told you. So, this is normal. If I am taking no tablet, this is normal in my mind and I am sleeping continuously for 8 hours. So, in the 8 hours, 4 to 5 times this cycle is repeated. 1 RAM, 1 non-RAM completes 1 cycle. This is 1 cycle, this is 1. So, total I complete 4 to 5 cycle in 8 hours because for 1 cycle I require 45 minutes. In 1 45 minute, I will complete this. In the next 45 minute, I will complete this. So, I will complete many cycles in 1 night. Sorry, not 45 minutes. I guess 1 hour 30 minute. 1 hour 30 minute for 1 cycle. You have to check exact time. So, 4 to 5 cycles in 1 night. Give me a thumbs up. Anyways, this is normal. But if someone is taking a tablet of barbiturate, the RAM duration will decrease. And stage 3, 4 will decrease here. So, stage 0, 1, 2 will increase. So, that is the sleep architecture is disturbed. It is not normal. What is the disturbance? You got it. Give me a thumbs up. So, that is the action on the brain. In the brain, what is the summary? It depresses CNS. It depresses complete CNS, but basically it depresses RAS. It depresses reticular uh, activating system more as compared to complete remaining CNS. Okay. Three things are there because of depression of the RAS. Number one, sleep latency is reduced. Latency kam ho jayegi. Sleep duration will be increased. Duration will be increased. And sleep architecture is disturbed. Is disturbed. You can give the details of all. Sleep latency reduced. So within 10 minutes, the person will get sleep after going to the bed. Duration is increased. So person will sleep for 8 to 10 hours. Duration is increased. Architecture is disturbed. So RAM will decrease the duration of RAM. And stage 3, 4 of non-RAM will decrease. Everyone give me a thumbs up. That is the summary. Everyone means everyone give me a thumbs up. That is the action on CNS. You can see here. Okay. Uh, okay. If you, uh, the sleep is arousable. Still you can arouse the patient. The patient is sleeping. The person is taking, sleeping after taking a tablet of barbiturate. And if you arouse the subject, the person will be arousable. He will get up from the sleep. If you if you shout the name, the name of the person, I don't know, Ram, Sham, please get up, get up, get up. If you if you call him, usko hilauge, he will get up, but he will remain confused and unsteady if waken early. Before 8 to 10 hours, if you if you arouse the patient after taking a tablet of barbiturate, so he will remain confused. What is there? He will not get anything, right? Night awake things are reduced. He will not get up in the night. He will sleep continuously for 8 to 10 hours. But hangover is there. Like alcohol, the next day the person feels dizzy, disorientation of the mood, instable. So hangover is there. So these are not good tablets. After taking the tablet, the patient sleep, sleep, sleepy, feels sleepy and he sleeps for the next day also. And in the morning, he is not waking up at, at, at time. And after waking up, he is having hangover. 
Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. Barbiturates rates impair learning, shorten memory and judgment. So memory be uska short hoga. So after taking a tablet of barbiturate, I took a tablet of barbiturate at 11 p.m. in the night. Right. I took a tablet of barbiturate and I got sleep at 12 p.m. At 12 p.m. So is a ghante me kya hua? I don't remember anything. The next morning, if you ask, I will not remember anything. So it, it impairs learning, it shortens memory and judgment. Right, right. It don't have any analgesic action, no pain reduction. Rather, it is having hyperalgesia. It increases pain. Right. It is having anticonvulsant property also. It reduces scissors. Uh, it increases scissors threshold and reduces scissors. Interactions. Don't give barbiturate with other drugs which have microsomal enzymes, the uh, cytochrome P450 action. Because barbiturates, <laughs> phenobarbiton is a barbiturate now. All barbiturates are enzyme inducers, cytochrome P450 inducers, cytochrome P450 inducers. These are cytochrome P450 inducers. Give me a thumbs up. So don't give them with other drugs. So you know other enzyme cytochrome P450 inducers, I guess. The mnemonic is GPRS cell phone. You should know the list of these drugs which induces cytochrome P450. G for grisopalvin, P for phanogen, R for rifampicin, S for smoking, C for carbamazepine, and P, B, uh, P for phenobarbiton which is the most important barbiturate. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. Don't give barbiturate with other CNS depressants like alcohol, opioids. Person will feel more sleepy. Don't give barbiturate with sodium valproate. Don't give barbiturate with grisopalvin. So these are the interactions. These are the interactions. Just a second. Have you got it? Should I proceed ahead? Am I still live? Just a minute. Let me see. Give me a minute. Am I still live? Can you see me? Yeah, I guess it is working. I guess it is working. Okay. Okay. So coming on the users. Coming on the users. So bar because of all these features, barbiturates are not used as a sedative and hypnotic. No, no. Barbiturates, these are very dangerous. Sometimes instead of one tablet, if patient is taking four tablets, he will die. So I cannot afford that in my patient. I will not give barbiturate as a sedative or hypnotic in my patient. Kabhi bhi uska dimaag sanak gaya, to wo suicide kar lega. So, or anyone else in the family can do the suicide. So I will not prescribe barbiturate as a sedative drug because better options are available. What are the better options? Benzodiazepine, my next chapter. Benzodiazepines are available. So I will give benzodiazepine, which are a safer drug for sedative and hypnotic. So why barbiturates are used nowadays? They are used for two purposes, epilepsy and anesthesia. Barbiturates are not used for sedative or hypnotic. No, no, they are not used. They are super sedated, super sedated by benzodiazepines. Nowadays, we use benzodiazepine for hypnotic and sedative and anxiety, not barbiturate. We use phenobarbiton in epilepsy. We use thiopantone in anesthesia. So only two barbitur barbiturates are used. Others are not used. No barbiturate is, no other barbiturate is used nowadays. These are of historical importance. Give me a thumbs up. Why? Because there are many adverse effects. The next day patient, and these are not good sedatives also. The next day patient is having hangover. So it is not a good sedative. Now, I want to give a good sleep to the person and a fresh morning. After a good sleep, the refreshing morning. At 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock in the morning, the person get up with a refreshing sleep. Wow, I got a good sleep and now I'm energized and I'm refreshed. It is not the morning the person get up after taking barbiturate sleep. The person is having hangover the next morning. I can't uh, do work. I'm feeling low energy. No. Hangover should not be there. So quality of life should not be hampered after giving sedative or hypnotic. So that is the best drug you can give. So you can give benzodiazepines nah, instead of barbiturate. Don't give barbiturate. So hangover is there. Drowsiness is there. Sleep architecture is disturbed. And sleep disturbance on withdrawal. Right. Paradoxical excitement is there. Sometimes in aging patient. Depression ki jaga excitement ho jaga. Respiratory depression is there. In high doses, respiratory depression can be there. Person can't do the respiration and can die. Give me a thumbs up. These are the adverse effects. Right. These are the adverse effects can be there. Drug automatism can be there. Right. What do you mean by drug automatism? What does this term used as? Drug automatism ka matlab kya hota hai? Samaj hai kya? Uh, I have told you, if the person is taking tablet at 11 p.m. at night, barbiturate tablet, raat ko sone ke liye he is facing difficulty in sleeping, so the person thought, subject thought, I will take a tablet of barbiturate and I will get sleep. So after taking the tablet of barbiturate at 11 p.m., he is having memory loss. Memory loss means amnesia ho jata hai uske baad. Immediately after taking the tablet, the once the tablet goes in the blood, the patient have amnesia. Person don't remember. So after having amnesia, 
he will think that I should take a tablet again. I have not taken, he forgot that I have taken a tablet. So he will take another tablet. After that, he will take another tablet. He will take more and more tablet because he, uski memory mein nahi hai that I have already taken the tablet. He will have amnesia. Owing to amnesia, patient get confused and he take repeated doses of the same tablet. Give me a thumbs up and he can die. He can die because of high doses, he can die. So it is a very, very dangerous thing. Have you got it? Hypersensitivity can be there. Tolerance can be there. Rapid IV injection can cause serious collapse. Right. Increased vitamin D metabolism can lead to osteomalacia. Increased vitamin K metabolism can lead to bleeding. These all are the adverse effects. You should know the adverse effect. The last thing which I should teach you here is barbiturate poisoning. Everyone give me a thumbs up. The poisoning of the barbiturate. If some one, if some subject, if some patient or any person take high dose of barbiturate, either accidentally, accidentally usne galti se le liya or for a suicide purpose or homicide. For whatever accident, suicide, homicide, he take too much of barbiturate. What will happen? Number one, he will get unconscious. So instead of one tablet, he took 10 tablets. He took 100 tablets, right? Accidentally or suicidal purpose or homicidal purpose, someone has given to, to do the murder or you, something. So unconscious, the person will get unconscious. After that, the person will have respiratory collapse, circulatory collapse. The person will go shock and the person will die. The person will die. There may be renal failure, GI bleed, pulmonary edema and cardiac irregularities, arrhythmias can be. So the person can die, right? Now, if you want to save this person, just suppose a young boy is there. There is a young boy. Just a second. There is a young boy. The age of the boy is 15 years. 15 years. He is in 10th standard. He got the result today and he is failed in the result. Now, he feel very shy for uh, declaring his result to the parents. And he tried to commit suicide. He tried to commit suicide after declaration. It is a very common incidence now. He tried to commit suicide. So how to commit suicide now? He is a child. He has thought that my mother or my father takes sleeping pill every day. Right. He knows there is a sleeping pill at my home. Right. So he has arranged that sleeping pill. And he thought instead of taking one tablet, I will take the all 10 tablets together. So he has taken 10 tablets of barbiturate. 10 tablets of barbiturate, barbiturate and after taking the tablet, he got unconscious. He got unconscious. Parents arrived in the room. Parents arrived in the room and they have seen that the child is unconscious. They got very panic. So in the panic, they took the child to you in a car and the child is unconscious and you are a doctor. Doctor, please save our child. Please save our child. So he and the empty strip, they have already seen the empty strip is there in the room. So they got that our child tried to commit the suicide taking sleeping pills. So doctor save our child. He has tried to commit suicide by taking sleeping pills. And this is the empty strip. You can see he has taken this tablet. This is the empty strip. You can see. So you have seen that the child has committed suicide. He has taken too much of barbiturate. So this is the scenario in front of you. It is an emergency. What treatment you will offer to this patient? Can anyone tell me what treatment you will offer to this patient? What treatment you will offer to this patient? So this is a typical case of barbiturate poisoning. Till now unconsciousness is there. You don't, do not want death. So what treatment you will offer? The first thing you should do a gastric lavage or you induce vomiting, emesis. You induce vomiting, you do gastric lavage or you do activated charcoal, saline, catheteric lavage. Give me a thumbs up. After that secure airway, secure ABC, airway, breathing and circulation. Give IV fluid because the person is in collapse. The heart is not pumping, give dopamine to increase the intrinsic pumping of the heart to increase the you know uh, pumping of the heart so give uh, dopamine right after that uh, you want to excrete the barbiturate out of the body out of the body yes or no so barbiturate is an acidic drug to excrete the acidic drug you want alkaline diuresis so make the urine alkaline Make the urine alkaline so that he can excrete the barbiturate present in the blood. Yeah, definitely some dialysis can be there. If renal failure is there, dialysis is the last option. You can do the dialysis also. See, this is the child. He is having too much of barbiturate. He has ingested, already ingested, right? This is the GIT of the child. See, this is the mouth. This is the esophagus. This is the stomach. This is the intestine. This is the blood vessel of the child. This is the blood vessel. Now the drug barbiturate is present at two places. What are the two places? Either it is present in the stomach. It is not yet absorbed stomach and intestine 
or it is present already absorbed and present in the blood right now you want to decrease both concentration if you want to save the child all this drugs is going in the brain and depressing the brain depressing the respiratory center and the child can die right so you want to decrease so the drug which is present in the stomach and intestine that can be reduced by amesis number one uh, amesis means vomiting uh, induce vomiting in the child number one or do the gastric lavage you can do the gastric lavage do the amesis or vomiting right and you can give the charcoal 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 will absorb the drug and inhibit the drug absorption further more absorption of the drug you can do that if you want to decrease the concentration of the drug which is already absorbed in the blood the concentration of the drug which is already absorbed in the blood right so that can be reduced by two ways either hemodialysis you take all the blood out filter the blood and again re-inject the same blood right you can do that number one you can do that number one you can do that number two you can excrete the drug in the urine by doing alkaline diuresis this drug is acidic drug so make the urine alkaline so that acidic drugs are excreted in alkaline urine yes forced alkaline diuresis samir very good it is known as forced alkaline diuresis now everyone give me a thumbs up if you can see me if you can hear me uh, let me confirm if i can see your chat just a second if i can see your chat give me a thumbs up everyone give me a thumbs up in the chat box everyone have you got it should i proceed ahead so that is the treatment you should offer that is the management right there is no specific antidote for barbiturate there is no specific antidote for the barbiturate i am done with barbiturate let me start the second chapter benzodiazepines are you people there should i start with benzodiazepines give me a thumbs up if i start with benzodiazepines you people are there barbiturates are done the same headings i will teach you benzodiazepines okay let me start benzodiazepines so classification mechanism of action pharmacological action pharmacokinetics why benzodiazepines are superior than barbiturates tell me 10 reasons tell me many reasons adverse effects so that is the things i am going to teach you let me start with classification let me start i have already taught you the classification of barbiturates the classification of barbiturates is based on duration of action short acting uh, long acting short acting ultra short short acting you know the names benzodiazepines action um, uh, classification is not based on duration of action uh, it's a uh, um, classification is based on its action its uses so they are used as hypnotic for causing sleep for inducing sleep right for inducing sleep number one they are used to reduce the anxiety that is anti-anxiety not for sleep for reducing anxiety and they are used for seizures that is anti-convulsant so based on their different action now you can see one drug is common in all of them diazepam diazepam is a hypnotic also anti-anxiety also anti-convulsant also okay the other drugs are different you can see the names there are some overlap lorazepam yaha pe bhi hai yaha pe bhi hai you can see right so the alprazolam yaha pe bhi hai yaha pe bhi hai so you can see there is some overlap some drugs are common here there but diazepam is a drug you can see it is present in all three categories so all are zepam zepam hypnotics are diazepam fluorazepam nitrazepam alprazolam timazolam triazolam so all are zepam and zola zepams zepams diazepam fluorazepam nitrazepam alprazolam uh, tipazepam or triazolam so zepam and zolam are there anti anxiety mein again diazepam to hai diazepam ka hi bada bhai chlor diazepoxide oxa oxa oxazepam lorazepam alprazolam give me a thumbs up anti convulsant mein diazepam lorazepam clonazepam and clobazepam so various zepams are there so various zepams are there i know zepams and zolams so i know the classification is difficult but anyhow you have to learn it there is no escape you have to learn it give me a thumbs up so that is benzodiazepines benzodiazepines we can classify this way there is second classification also based on duration of action some of them are long acting some of them are short acting so you can classify that way also right so short acting ka ek mnemonic hai short acting ka mnemonic is stole s t o l e S T O L E S is short acting T say triazolam timazolam oxazolam lorazolam and estazolam so these are short acting others are long acting anyways so after the classification now you know the classification of both you know the classification of barbiturates and you know the classification of benzodiazepine barbiturates are classified based on their duration of action into three categories long acting short acting and ultra short acting i am not saying the drugs inside them you already know the drugs you already know the drugs here only one drug phenobarbitone are there here two drugs here two drugs total five barbiturates are there in the world right benzodiazepines are many benzodiazepines are classified based on their uses not on duration of action so some of them 
are used as sedatives for sleep. Some of them, sedatives and hypnotics, are used as anti-anxiety for reducing anxiety and some of them are used as anti-convulsants for seizures, right? You know the various names of the drugs inside them, you have to learn. The second classification is based on duration of action also. It is only long acting and short acting. It is not ultra short. So some of them are short, some of, so I have told you those, the, the both classifications. Everyone give me a thumbs up. After classification, let me come on mechanism of action of benzodiazepines. So benzodiazepines only have one mechanism of action. I've already told you mechanism of action of barbiturates. If you, have attend, if you are attending the lecture from the beginning, you may be knowing. Give me a thumbs up if you know the, the three mechanism of action of barbiturates. What are the three mechanism of action of barbiturates? Prateksha, Lavanya, Arul, Samir, anyone? Swajanya, anyone? What are the three? So one is GABA, facilitatory action. One is GABA, mimicry action. And the third is glutamate, glutamate, inhibitory action. Glutamate, inhibitory action. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. Yes, Samir. All of them ultimately increases. The first two increases the chloride opening. The third one inhibits the glutamate. Give me a thumbs up. So, ultimately increasing the inhibition. Ultimately increasing the inhibition. Yes, you know that. Yes or no? I've already taught you the three mechanisms of action of barbiturates. On the contrary, benzodiazepine have only one mechanism of action. Not the three. Not the three. Only one mechanism of action. That is GABA facilitatory. That is GABA facilitatory. I've already taught you that action. So what it is doing, so it is having only one mechanism of action that is GABA facilitatory. It is not having GABA mimicry action. It is not having action on glutamate. It is having only one action, GABA facilitatory action. Listen, if you take a tablet of benzodiazepine, if the subject is taking, the patient is taking a tablet of benzodiazepine, just suppose I am the subject, I am having difficulty in sleep. I am coming to you, doctor, I am having sleepless night. I can't sleep in the night from many nights i am not sleeping and my mind is very tense i need relaxation i need a good sleep but whenever i am trying to go and sleep i am unable to sleep so give me some tablet everyone else in my home is sleeping my husband is sleeping my children are sleeping but i am awakened the whole night i am awakened give me some tablet it is a very difficult disease you know the persons who are having they go in depression so give me some tablet so that i can sleep you are prescribing benzodiazepine to me so you ask me to take the tablet uh, half hour or one hour before sleep, whenever I want to sleep. So I want to go at in sleep at 11.30. So I'm taking the tablet at 11 p.m. in night, right? If I take the tablet, the tablet will go in blood, absorbed from my stomach and intestine. It will go in my blood. From blood, it will go in my brain. In my brain, it will go on the neurons. On the neurons, it will go on the GABA receptor. It will go on the GABA receptor. You all know about the GABA receptor. I have described this receptor. On the GABA neuron, GABA receptor have five five the different uh, parts so alpha the two alpha are there two beta are there and one gamma is there right one alpha one beta junction is this one alpha is this one beta is this one gamma is this. so total two alpha two beta and one gamma these this is known as gaba receptor so ultimately this is a gaba receptor whenever you were giving barbiturate where the barbiturate was acting see this is a tablet of barbiturate shown here this is barbiturate Barbiturate was acting on 1 alpha, 1 beta. 1 alpha and showing its GABA facilitatory action, GABA mimicry action, both actions. Give me a thumbs up, that is barbiturate. But now you are giving a tablet of benzodiazepine. You are not giving barbiturate. You are giving a tablet of benzodiazepine. So you are giving diazepam. You are giving, uh, sorry, diazepam to aapka. Yes, you are giving diazepam. Diazepam. Can you see? This is a diazepam. This is a diazepam. So where it is acting? Where it is acting? It is acting at the junction of alpha and gamma. So not at alpha beta junction. It is at alpha gamma. So what is my point to tell you here? Barbiturates and benzodiazepine. Both act, both of them act on GABA receptor. But their site of action is different. GABA receptor pe kaha act karenge? So barbiturate act on alpha beta junction. And benzodiazepine act on alpha gamma junction. That is my point to tell you for MCQ purpose. Give me a thumbs up if you got it. Yeah, MCQ ke liye yaad rakhna hai. It is visible in the diagram also. Clear cut visible hai. See a tablet of barbiturate. Where it is acting? Alpha beta junction. See a tablet of diazepam. That is benzodiazepine. This is benzodiazepine. It is acting on alpha gamma junction. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. It is acting on alpha gamma junction as you got it. So it is acting on alpha and gamma junction. Is pay MCQ hai. Ongoing. So the tablet is going on the brain, in the neurons, in the GABA receptor, being specific GABA, pehle to blood mein jayega. <coughs> from the blood it is going to the brain, in the brain it is going on the neuron, on the neuron it is going on the receptor, the name of the receptor is GABA receptor, 
on the GABA receptor, it is going on the junction alpha gamma. On acting on this junction, what it will do? It will stimulate, it will increase the activity of natural GABA. This is natural GABA. Normally, this natural GABA come bind here on the receptor, on the beta, here on the receptor and increases the chloride opening. Increases the chloride opening so that chloride comes inside. Once the chloride comes inside, there is hyperpolarization and it will lead to inhibition. And inhibition leads to sleep. This happens normally. So, the diazepam, the benzodiazepine increases the affinity of the natural GABA. So, now what will happen? Initially, the natural GABA was coming and opening the chloride channel only for one time. One time. But now, in presence of benzodiazepine, one time in one second. In one second, it was opening in one time only. Right. Now, in presence of benzodiazepine, in one second, it is opening for 10 times. That is frequency of opening is opening. Increasing. Frequency. So, more times it is opening. Only one time it was opening. Chloride was coming inside. It was closing. In one second, it was opening once. But now, in the same one second, it is opening 10 times. So, that more chloride is coming. More chloride coming. More hyperpolarization. More inhibition. More sleep. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. Have you got it? So, it is GABA facilitatory action. It itself, what do you mean by GABA facilitatory? Benzodiazepine itself is not opening the chloride. It is asking GABA to open more. It is asking GABA, it is asking GABA that you increases normally opening the chloride channel only for one time in one second. Now, in my presence, you open the same chloride channel 10 times in the same one second. So, basically, it is increasing the frequency of chloride channel opening, not the timing. Not the timing. Have you got it? Now, there is a big difference. I have told you barbiturate, I have told you benzodiazepine. I have told you both barbiturate and benzodiazepine. Both have GABA facilitatory action. Both go to the GABA receptor. They also go to the GABA receptor. Here it go to alpha beta junction, it go to alpha gamma junction. Okay, ultimately they are going to GABA receptor. On the GABA receptor, barbiturate increases the duration of chloride channel opening. Duration of chloride channel opening. It is increasing the frequency of chloride channel opening. I hope you got it. The students jinko samaj na tha, unhone samaj liya. Samajdar ke liye ishara kafi hai. I hope. Right. This one. Normally GABA was opening the chloride channel was for 1 millisecond. But in presence of barbiturate, it is opening for 10 millisecond. That is, it is increasing the duration for the opening of chloride channel. So, more chloride is coming. More hyperpolarization. More inhibition. And more sleep. Give me a thumbs up. Benzodiazepine increases the frequency of chloride channel opening, not the duration. Not the duration. It is still opening for 1 millisecond. But initially it is opening only one time in one second. Once per second. But now it is opening 10 times in one second. So it is increasing the frequency. So ultimately again more chloride, more hyperpolarization, more inhibition. Ultimately chloride more. Hai. But here the chloride is more due to increased duration of opening of chloride channel. Here the chloride is more because of increased frequency of opening of the chloride channel. I thought means I, this is the best way I can give you, the best simplest form I can explain you. If you read all these things from CADZUNK or KDT directly, it will be a bouncer for you. I guess it will be a bouncer. But now if you read it today, now it will be a cakewalk for you. You will get everything, okay. You will get everything. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. Have you got it? Should I proceed ahead? Should I proceed? So, okay. So, benzodiazepine. So, benzodiazepines, once you take, just suppose I am the subject, I am taking a tablet of benzodiazepine by mouth orally, it will go in my esophagus, it will go in my stomach and intestine, it will get absorbed, it will go in my blood, from blood it will go in my brain, in my brain it will go on my neuron, on neuron it will go on GABA receptor, GABA receptor it will go on alpha gamma junction, on alpha gamma junction, it, gamma junction, it will act and it will increase the affinity of natural GABA on GABA receptor. How it will increase the affinity? By increasing the frequency of chloride channel opening. It increases the frequency, not the duration in, in contrast to barbiturate. This is GABA facilitatory action. So, more chloride will enter, more hyperpolarization, more sleep, more sleep, more inhibition, more sleep. Everyone give me a thumbs up. Have you got it? Samir, Lavanya, Sachin, Badu, everyone, you got it? Swajanya, yes? So, this is the thing. This is the thing. So, that is the difference, right? So, benzodiazepines have only GABA facilitatory action but no GABA mimetic action. In contrast to barbiturate, they have both action. GABA facilitatory also, GABA mimicry also. 
here benzodiazepines themselves do not cause anything to chloride channel they ask GABA to do that have you got it have you got it have you got it so let me draw a diagram for you this is a neuron on this neuron this is the GABA receptor this is the GABA receptor alpha beta this is alpha this is gamma and this is beta so 2 alpha 2 beta gamma this is the sequence this is the sequence right so this is a neuron this is a GABA receptor right now you are giving barbiturate and you are giving benzodiazepine one one tablet barbiturate will go alpha beta junction this junction benzodiazepine will go alpha gamma junction this junction this is the first thing you should learn okay you got it both are going and this is the natural GABA normally if both of them are absent this is the natural GABA natural GABA act on beta it act on beta natural GABA on acting beta it open chloride channel this is the chloride channel it simply open chloride channel more chloride will go chloride will cause hyperpolarization and inhibition right now barbiturate listen barbiturate will do two things number one it will increase the affinity of natural GABA to increase chloride channel to increase the opening of the chloride channel and itself also it will open the chloride channel so it is having GABA facilitatory as well as GABA mimic reaction but benzodiazepine have only GABA facilitatory action that is it will increase the affinity of natural GABA only for opening of the chloride channel it will itself will not open the chloride channel so it is not having GABA mimic reaction I hope you got it the next difference is that barbiturate increases the duration of opening of chloride channel it increases the frequency of opening of chloride channel this is the best version from my side to all the students have you got it okay I guess you got it so since benzodiazepine have only one action that is facilitatory no mimicry and barbiturates have double action facilitatory as well as mimicry so which are safe by common sense you tell me which are safe which are safe the one which is having only one action facilitatory or the one which is having double action this could double action and instead of sleep here can be death or coma or death can be there because of the double action we want only one action facilitatory we do not want double action so that's why benzodiazepines are safe because they have only GABA facilitatory action, no GABA mimicry action. Barbiturates are not safe. They have double action, facilitatory as well as mimicry. Have you got it? Have you got it? Give me a thumbs up. Everyone give me a thumbs up. Let me teach you the function of three more drugs after that. I will teach you three more drugs. Let me teach you the name of these three drugs. So I am going to teach you Biculin. I am going to teach you Fluma, Fluma, Fluma Zanil. And I'm going to teach you DMCM. Let me teach you the full form of DMCL. In Tino ka mechanism bata These are the other drugs acting on the same receptor. In GABA receptor, I have taught you two drugs now. Till now. I have taught you benzodiazepine. Where it is acting? Alpha beta junction. I have told you barbiturate. Uh, where it is acting? Diazepam or barbiturate? One and the same thing. It is acting on alpha gamma junction. Let me teach you three more drugs which act on the same receptor. So the first drug is a GABA antagonist, which is known as biscuculin. It is antagonist of GABA. GABA antagonist. Biscuculin is the GABA antagonist. These two drugs, barbiturate and benzodiazepine, these are GABA facilitatory. These are GABA agonist. These GABA ke action badha rahe hai. GABA ko facilitate kar rahe hai. GABA ke agonist hai. But biscuculin is GABA antagonist. It blocks GABA. It is GABA antagonizing action. Give me a thumbs up. GABA antagonist biscuculin. It antagonizes benzodiazepine action, basically. It is a non-competitive. It is a non-competitive antagonist of GABA. Give me a thumbs up. The competitive benzodiazepine antagonist is flumazanil. So flumazanil is also a competitive. Both of them are antagonist. Biscuculin and flumazanil. This is non-competitive antagonist and this is competitive antagonist. But basically these are antagonist of benzodiazepine. Ye benzodiazepines ke ulte hai. They will cause insomnia. They will not induce sleep. They will cause insomnia. They will reduce GABA. They will reduce chloride opening. Less chloride will come. Less hyperpolarization. Less inhibition means excitation. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. And the third drug, uh, DMCM. What is the full form of DMCM? Dimethoxymethyl. Carbomethoxy beta carbolin. So it is a difficult name, but DMCM. Uh, it is benzodiazepine inverse agonist. You know inverse agonist kya hota hai? Antagonist is receptor ko block karta hai. Inverse agonist uska ulta karta hai. So GABA facilitatory ki jaga GABA ke ulta action karega. Right? So that is the thing. That is the thing. There is one more toxin that is known as picrotoxin. Let me show you picrotoxin. Pe hai kya? Yes, this is picrotoxin. This is picrotoxin. Picrotoxin blocks chloride channel directly. Ye GABA pe act nahi karega. Directly chloride channel ko hi block kar dega. It's tube goes channel. So what is the summary? What is the summary? On a GABA receptor, in the brain, we have a neuron. This is a neuron. On the neuron, we have a GABA receptor. 
on the GABA receptor, there are two alpha, there are two beta, and there is one GABA. So, total is a pentamer. There are five different subunits in a GABA receptor. Now, there are various drugs. One is barbiturate, one is benzodiazepine. These are the two main drugs, right? Others, may it is uh, biscoculin, biscoculin, biscoculin. Uh, one was flumazanil, flumazanil. One is DMCM, you know the full form of DMCM, I guess, DMCM. And one is picrotoxin, picrotoxin, right? These are the drugs, important drugs acting on this receptor. Barbiturates and benzodiazepine, these are GABA agonists. These both are GABA agonists. They increase this GABA activity. They increase this by two mechanisms. Barbiturate increases GABA by GABA facilitatory as well as GABA mimic reaction. But benzodiazepines do only GABA facilitatory action, but they ultimately both are GABA agonists. Give me a thumbs up. Now, the other way around. Biscopulin and flumazanil are GABA antagonists. These are benzodiazepine antagonist, GABA antagonist. So, biscopulin is a non-competitive antagonist and flumazanil is a competitive antagonist. But basically, these are antagonists. These are not agonists. DCCM is an inverse agonist. Inverse agonist. I guess you got the difference. So, these are agonists. These are antagonists. This is inverse agonist. And picrotoxin di directly inhibit the chloride channel. In the center, there is a chloride channel. Now, ultimately, puri ladai chloride channel ki hai. So, picrotoxin directly inhibits the chloride channel. It is a, uh, a non-competitive inhibitor of chloride channel. So, that's it. Give me a thumbs up. So, I am done. So, the main drugs are in front of you. GABA, buscopulin, picrotoxin, barbiturates, benzodiazepine, DCCM, flumazanil. Read their definition. Read their definition. Everyone give me a thumbs up. Who is agonist? Who is antagonist? Who is inverse agonist? So, you should have a look over them and many, many, many MCQs are framed from this table. Now, don't learn this table. Understand the table from this diagram. Everyone give me a thumbs up. Everyone. So, what are the actions of benzodiazepines? Who will tell me? Number one, sedation. Sedation means it induces sleep. Number two, hip sorry. Sedation means not induce sleep. Hypnosis means it induces sleep. Sedation means it reduces anxiety. <coughs> it induces anxiety. Anxiety could be anti-convulsant. It reduces scissors. So, three actions basically, basically three actions are there. It induces sleep, it decreases anxiety, it decreases scissor, anticonvulsant. These are the three uses. Uh, <clears throat> there are other actions also. It is having analgesic action. It decreases pain. It is decreasing pain. It is like a painkiller. It is it not used as a painkiller, but in the body it decreases pain. It is an antidepressant also, a minute action, not a main action, but minute action It is an antidepressant. It is a muscle relaxant property also. It is a neuromuscular blocker like muscle relaxant property bhi hai. But one bad thing is there anterograde amnesia. Anterograde amnesia means after taking drug person do not remember anything. I take the drug at 11 p.m. today. After that kya hua meri zindagi mein mujhe nahi pata. So I will wake up directly in the morning and I will not remember yeah I have taken the tablet at 11 o'clock I don't remember anything. After. So that is anterograde amnesia ye problem yaha bhi hai. Give me a thumbs up. Now tell me the advantages of benzodiazepine. Why I yeah, like alcohol Samir okay. What are the advantages of benzodiazepine which make it superior from, from uh, barbiturates? What are the advantages? So, it is having a flat dose response curve. So, instead of one tablet, if the patient is taking four tablets or ten tablets, the patient will not die. Okay, the patient will die if he take hundred tablets. So, relatively flat curve, relatively. relatively. In case of barbiturates, instead of one, if the patient take four, the patient will die. It do not have any action on respiration or CVS like barbiturate. Barbiturate depresses respiratory effect depresses CVS effect. No action on other body systems. No disturbance, uh, minute uh, disturbance in the sleep architecture. Barbiturate was disturbing sleep. Usme RAM kam ho ra tha. Non RAM me 3-4 kam ho ra tha. To deep sleep kam thi. Sleep zada thi. Barbiturate lene ke baad, after taking barbiturate tablet, the person duration of the sleep increases, but that, that sleep is not relaxing. That, that sleep is not deep sleep. That sleep is only superficial sleep. Because the cycle 3 and 4 is not coming and RAM is not coming. So, the person is not going in the dreamy sleep, a good sleep, a deep sleep. No, it is only superficial. So, the person is having hangover the next day. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. Yes, less enzyme inducing activity or rather some no enzyme inducing activity. It do not activate any microsomal uh, cytochrome P450 enzyme like uh, barbiturate. So, it can be given with other drugs. Low abuse ability, right? After taking barbiturate, the person have abuse. He has dependency. He have to take it daily. 
for the pleasurable effect not for the sleep but it is having low abuse layer it is not having no but yeah lower right and it is having a specific antidote flumazanil is available so if in case of poisoning you can give flumazanil wape specific antidote nahi tha you were doing hemodialysis you were doing forced alkaline diuresis you were giving alkali alkaline uh, uh, sodium bicarbonate but there was no specific antidote here specific antidote is available so see the differences the summary is in front of you barbiturates benzodiazepine everyone give me a thumbs up barbiturates have facilitatory as well as mimicry both action but benzodiazepines have only facilitatory action no mimicry action it increases the duration ye potassium nahi hai sorry chloride hai chloride channel ka duration increase karega ye chloride channel ki frequency increase karega ultimately both are increasing chloride chloride channel more chloride more hyperpolarization more inhibition right here the drc is steep that's why it is dangerous dangerous drug even a minute increase in dose can cause the death dangerous drug here it is flat so it is safe drug if the dose increases there so it is not death it is not death right addiction is more here it is less here right addiction is more here it is less here amnesia yahan pe itna nahi hai lekin yahan pe zyada common hai antidote is not available here but yeah specific antidote plumazanil is available here everyone give me a thumbs up i tried harder users you already know the users of benzodiazepine it is used for anxiety it is used for amnesia it is used for epilepsy it is used for epilepsy it is used for pre anesthesia right it is used it is used for anesthesia before procedure small procedures like endoscopy it is used for a muscle relaxant also because it is having muscle relaxant property also it is used in tetanus also it is used in acute alcohol withdrawal as a substitution therapy just in the last lecture i have to told you what is substitution therapy alcohol is a sedative you want the alcohol to leave in chronic alcoholism you want the person to uh, do the abstinence of alcohol but when the person is leaving alcohol he is having withdrawal symptoms so you are shifting from alcohol to uh, benzodiazepines first as a substitution therapy right as a substitution therapy and psychosomatic disorder so there are many uses so enumerate them these are the uses right there is a big list of uses here but if you remember in barbiturates we have only two uses in epilepsy and in anesthesia it is not the barbiturates not used for anxiety for insomnia it is used for epilepsy and anesthesia only it is used for anxiety also insomnia also epilepsy also anesthesia also endoscopy also muscle relaxant also tetanus alcohol substitution therapy psychomotor disorder give me a thumbs up adverse effects children's dependence hangover yahan bhi hai but low relatively low as compared to barbiturates tiredness somnolence headache vertigo these are minute side effects hai. so we are done with benzodiazepines also everyone give me a thumbs up the newer drugs the zolpi group i am not teaching you now but you got my point what are barbiturates what are benzodiazepines right you tell me the classification of both you tell me the classification of both the three three classes here long acting short acting ultra short acting here the three classes are sedatives or hypnotics uh, anti uh, anxiety and uh, anti convulsants hypnotics anti anxiety anti convulsants so that is the classification i'm not seeing the drugs inside them tell me the mechanism of action of both of them so here having two action or three action gaba facilitatory gaba mimicry or glutamate glutamate inhibition here only one action gaba facilitatory not three action right okay these are dangerous and these are safe right so you know the reason users users batao dono okay. ke who will tell me the users who will tell me the users users here and here adverse effect here and there तो यूजर्स यहां पे सिर्फ दो ही यूज हैं नंबर 1 एपिलेप्सी एंड नंबर 2 एनेस्थीशिया हियर आल्सो वी हैव एपिलेप्सी यूज इन एपिलेप्सी यूज इन एनेस्थीशिया बट बिफोर दैट इट इज यूज्ड एज अ सेडेटिव इट इज यूज्ड एज अ हिप्नोटिक इट इज यूज्ड फॉर एंजाइटी गिव मी अ थम्स अप राइट अपार्ट फ्रॉम इट इट इज यूज्ड इन अल्कोहल सब्स्टिट्यूशन थेरेपी इट इज यूज्ड इन साइकोमोटर डिसऑर्डर व्हाट आर द एडवर्स इफेक्ट्स हु विल टेल मी द एडवर्स इफेक्ट्स यहां पे एडवर्स इफेक्ट्स बहुत सारे थे रेस्पिरेटरी डिप्रेशन सर्कुलेटरी डिप्रेशन मेनी यहां पे एडवर्स इफेक्ट ज्यादा नहीं है टॉलरेंस डिपेंडेंस हैंगओवर हैंगओवर बोथ बोथ साइड गिव मी अ थम्स अप नाउ व्हिच आर सुपीरियर व्हिच आर इंफीरियर हु विल टेल मी व्हिच आर सुपीरियर व्हिच आर इंफीरियर दीस वन आर इंफीरियर देयर आर मेनी रीजंस टू टेल एंड दीस वन आर सुपीरियर देयर आर मेनी रीजंस टू टेल या द बार्बिटुरेट्स डू नॉट हैव स्पेसिफिक एंटीडोट they do not have a specific antidote but benzodiazepines have specific antidote the name of the specific antidote the competitive one is flumazanil flumazanil every one give me a thumbs up i tried harder 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 so i would like to stop here thank you very much for being with me i really enjoyed teaching you this topic this chapter 
hopefully you have learned a lot from it let me announce my next lectures then you people can go thank you very much if you like the lecture don't forget to click on the like button before leaving and share the link with your friends colleagues everyone don't forget to click uh, give me the feedback in the comment box whatever you feel like for this chapter for this topic the next class will be tomorrow tomorrow i am going to take four lectures 9 am 10 am 11 15 am and 12 30 pm all the four lectures are free classes so alternate classes will be there the first will be on youtube the second is special class on an academy it is a free class free special class the third again on youtube and fourth again special free class on an academy so all the lectures are free only the platform is different right alternately we will take four classes one one hour total four hour free sessions tomorrow we are having so i'm going to teach you in the first lecture i will start anti parkinson's and continue anti parkinson's here with the mcqs we will cover all anti parkinson's drug theory mcqs every everything in the next two i will teach you anti epileptic drugs anti epileptic drugs in these two are with the mcqs theory as well as mcqs so many 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 questions are there uh, from these two topics in your previous year question paper i request you to solve the questions from sedatives and hypnotics today as time is not allowing so i'm not launching the polls here so thank you very much bye bye study hard see you thank you thank you for the feedback prateksha lavanya swajanya uh, rapulo everyone arul everyone thank you thank you for staying and giving your precious time to me see you bye bye study hard see you all tomorrow morning 9 am sharp on youtube and academy live bye bye